let us discuss the topic relations and functions before we begin the meaning of relations and functions let's try to recap what we have discussed in the previous year syllabus see the topic set theory was one of the important topics in algebra in the first year course there you have discussed about what are sets what are the different types of sets and what are the operations related to sets now the same topic is being continued in this year of the course and here we are going to study about the relations and the functions which are associated with the sets now what is a relation a relation is a set of ordered pairs then what is a function a function is a rule that establishes a relationship between two quantities called the input and the output if we denote input is equal to x then the collection of all the x values is known as the domain and if we denote the output as y the collection of all the values of y is known as the range when a comma b belongs to r a is said to be related to b by r so that means the relationship r is defined in such a way that the element a is related in one or the other way with the element b so to understand this concept let us take an example let p be a set of people c be a set of cars and d be the relation describing which person drives which car or the cars now set p is having the elements carl susan peter and david which is nothing but the set of people and set c is having the elements mercedes bmw tricycle which is nothing but the set of cars set d is having the elements written in the form of ordered pair as carl comma mercedes susan comma mercedes susan comma bmw peter comma tricycle so in other words set d is going to define the relationship in such a way that the person driving a car is represented in the small brackets with the two elements first being the person and the second being the car driven by that particular person so when you observe the set d the ordered pairs that are given it means that carl drives a mercedes susan drives mercedes and a bmw peter drives a tricycle and david does not drive any of these vehicles now let us try to understand what is a function the most important part of the function is that every input has only one output if we denote input as x and output as y you know that an x cannot have two y's take for example if x which is called as domain and y which is called as range are represented with the elements as follows x is having the elements 1 2 3 4 and y and y with the elements 2 4 4 and 5 now if we define a relation which is represented in the form of arrow mark as 1 is related to 2 2 is related to 4 3 is related to 4 and 4 is related 